hey guys welcome back to our channel blossom valley so this is my first time solo blog and this is the series of blog that we are making on us to canada the second blog uh, which we are making for uh, how we travel from usa to canada okay so the first very point would be you need to make sure you are familiar with all your uh, application process which will be initiated by your employer uh, once all the application is approved, your biometric is done and your visa stamping is done, uh, you also need to make sure uh, you get the employment letter from your employer, uh, which is very much mandatory. Uh, once you land here in Canada, uh, the immigration officer will only ask for the employment letter plus your uh, visa, which is stamped on your passport and once they get these two document then they will issue a work permit over there and guys you have to be patient because uh, starting from your application uh, when it's initiated until you get your visa stamped the entire process might take at least four months if you are maxing out on your h1b visa and uh, if you do not want to move back to india but still want to continue with your work then these four months are very much crucial for you okay so the next point would be once you are uh, set with everything you have your visa in hand now it's planned to uh, how you travel so there are three major means to travel from us to canada one is either by land or by air or by water as you know guys water means is obviously out of scope so uh, you can either do by land or by air uh, many people opt for driving their own car because uh, that way they can carry some stuff uh, but in my case uh, i opted for traveling by air so uh, once you already have your travel plan ready uh, then there comes the other different steps that you have to do before you move out from us so make sure you have at least uh, one month before you fly out to canada so that uh, in between those one month you can uh, start preparing for your other work which are there so we will discuss step by step ahead so the first thing that comes in your mind like uh, if you want to move your uh, all your home items uh, to canada so I opted for packers and movers and I got three different codes from three different companies. Um, based on that, I opted for one of the packers and movers and I am going to share all the links of those packers and movers in the description so you can check those. They at least need uh, two weeks minimum, I would say, uh, so that they can plan, they can send their truck to your home address and then uh, the all the things can be loaded uh, the next thing would be uh, how you want uh, to ship your car so if you guys have your car in us then definitely uh, it's uh, based my, uh, based on my personal uh, experience uh, you should get your car because uh, it's very much needed if you are moving to a cold country um, so for car shipment, uh, I again opted for uh, uh, different quotes from a different different company and I am uh, going to share all the uh, shipment company details in the description. The next thing would be the driving abstract. So uh, this is one document which you uh, very much need. So this document, you can get it from your uh, local state DMV office. You can go to and then apply for this driving abstract so that they, they will share you the details. And I think you have to pay some amount uh, to get this driving abstract. This is just a history of your driving experience in USA. This is very much needed if you are going to opt for a driving license in Canada as well as uh, insurance in Canada. The another important thing would be proof of insurance. So you have 
to get your proof of insurance from your previous car insurance company uh, in US and you need to make sure that at least uh, 20 days before you apply for this proof of insurance because most of the insurance company they send this letter via mail only a uh, lot of these guys doesn't send that document through email so you have to plan ahead of it uh, so the next thing what you have to uh, make sure was to change your address because now you know that you are completely moving out to a different country so there could be some of the important mails that might still come to your US address so there is a short term uh, solution for this is that you can actually uh, put in a USPS address change to any of your close friend so that uh, if there are any uh, important documents that are yet to come and you need those documents then you can change in the USPS address change Uh, another important thing uh, which you need to get is your credit report in US so this is very much needed if you are going to uh, look for an apartment or condos in Canada uh, a very good thing would be that you withdraw some amount before you move to Canada uh, maybe like five to six thousand Canadian dollar which might help you during your initial expenses in Canada Another aspect would be uh, how you want to manage uh, your uh, US bank accounts or credit cards so if you are thinking that you are permanently going to move out from USA then it's good that uh, you can close all your savings and checking accounts as well as uh, any outstanding credit card that you are having so make sure you close up everything and then you can move to Canada so uh, if you are already in US and you are looking for uh, checking apartments or condos in Canada then it would be very much uh, useful if you start looking for a realtor so realtor are the one who actually show you the listings of different different condos uh, in Canada so that way it will uh, they will provide you all the listings uh, if there are any condos available and just to make sure that uh, those are the only guys that will show you the uh, condos you cannot go by your own and check for a condos that's the uh, some different aspect of here in Canada uh, you can actually look for uh, the rental apartments uh, but for that you have to be physically present over here then only you can check by your own but for condos no other options apart from realtor And guys so coming back to the car shipment here are some of the important uh, key aspects which you need to keep in mind so the first aspect would be all your uh, paperwork is done so in uh, when it comes down to the paperwork they will ask for your uh, passport they will ask for your visa they will ask for your uh, current US status and they will ask for your driving license they will ask for your car title uh, you also need to check uh, your car doesn't have any recalls if you have any recalls on your car you have to be uh, you have to clear all your recalls in USA itself uh, the next thing would be uh, check your car price in KBB Kelly Blue Book and uh, just get your uh, the pricing what is the current price of your car right now and another thing is uh, your car should be in your name uh, and the car should be uh, fully owned it should not be leased or financed 
so those things also you need to keep in mind uh, then uh, you also you can also inform your uh, insurance company that you will be moving to Canada so during the initial month uh, if their insurance is going to cover uh, in Canada when you drive there would be a few other documents that they might ask you to sign one of them would be uh, power of attorney documentation and uh, other documentation would be the vacant information so those uh, documentation they will share with you and you have to fill all the details and send it back to them for the paperwork uh, please keep in mind they need minimum three to four weeks uh, to process these documentation at the border um, otherwise uh, they might reject your application for shipment of the car so always take some time that you have minimum uh, days before you apply all these so thanks guys thanks for watching uh, this video hope you like this video and if you do like this video please like share and comment on this video if you have any queries or anything on any of the steps you can just write it down on the comment below and i'll try to answer uh, any of your queries who are recently trying to move from usa to canada so thanks guys thanks for joining and see you on our next blog.